got some explaining to do. I've been reading your guys' comments. Mike, where is the Del Sol? Mike, love the videos, but where's the Del Sol? Really be cool to see the Del Sol done. Wish the Del Sol was done. <laughs> Del Sol is still here. This, 100% done minus the vacuum lines. This, 100% done minus vacuuming and putting the seats in. This, not done yet. This, not done yet. Reason why it's not done yet? I've been busy, I've been busy. reasons why I've been busy. Um, if you guys watch or follow uh, Tommy Effia and uh, Bryson Miata, um, I am their full-time filmer now. So I'm filming their vlogs, I'm editing their vlogs uh, Monday through Tuesday, Thursday through Friday. <coughs> Subject to change in there as well. They live about mm, two hours from me, so driving there, whatever, driving back, stuff like that. I'm busy. This Del Sol is still a huge, huge priority to me. It's just lately I have not found the time and my friends have not found the time to get here and uh, work on it. Today is Saturday. Um, I finally found some time to get down here. Um, this place is a living nightmare in terms of a mess comparing it to Tommy and Chris's shops. Um, but I'm gonna try and find what tools that I can I know I put some of my tools here somewhere. I'll try and find those. And um, there's a few things that I can do here. <clears throat> try and bang those things out as best as I can. So let's do that now. Okay, starting with things that I can't do. I can't do the suspension yet. The passenger side one is done. The driver's side one has not been fabricated yet, at least to my knowledge. So I'm waiting on that. And then after that, I can put the axle in and put the wheel on and stuff like that. I can't make the interior 100% yet because we don't have a vacuum here. And my friends that do have vacuums here are not here today. So I can't vacuum this out and put these seats in until that gets done. Another thing I'm gonna do is this door. When we first put it on, we didn't put it on. 100% straight, so whenever I try and go and close it, it just hits itself, and I have to slam it to slam the door shut. So I loosen up the bolts, I'm going to jack that up and get it to where it should be, and then I think what I'm going to do is I'm going to start putting the fenders and stuff on, because there's no need for them to be off the car anymore, uh, which is a good feeling. So I just got the door done and this fender on and the fender flare put on. A couple of the bolts are stripped out where they go so I need to get uh, nuts to go onto the backs of this so that they uh, don't pop out while I drive. But um, Zach just showed up and he thankfully had a vacuum. This is like some vacuum that attaches to a Home Depot bucket which is actually kind of cool but I hope that it's like enough power to suck out all the garbage that's in my car, but we'll see. All right, update time. Vacuum the driver's side. Clean enough. Gonna grab the driver's seat and throw it in, bolt it up. I uh, got the passenger side fender bolted up. The flare bolts, once again, aren't 100% screwed in because they keep stripping, so I have to get nuts for those. I uh, don't know if I'm gonna make it to the auto parts store today. 
but it might be the next time that I'm here. Um, after I put the seats in and that's all set, I think I'm gonna try and attach the hood and get the hood back on, just because I wanna see like all the panels uh, back on the car. And I think I'll throw the roof on too and shut the uh, trunk, clean it off, see how it looks. you guys can see this but it's weird so that bracket you guys can't even see that okay that bracket lines up but that one over there it's almost like it was bent or something doesn't line up and it makes the whole seat rock back and forth. This is definitely the driver's side. It's just weird. Because we took it out the car like that. I don't remember anyone bending that. It's weird. All right, I'm gonna have to do some thinking and figure that out. All right, so the first seat is finally in. That took way, way longer than it should have. I don't know why it wouldn't go in, but every time I put two bolts on one side, the other two wouldn't line up. I'd swap them, put them the other way, wouldn't line up. One in the back, one in the front, opposite sides, whatever, it wouldn't line up, but I finally was able to get it in. I just needed to yank on it. This thing is covered in water. Better? I don't know. All right, but now it's time to vacuum out this side. Can't really see it, but it's disgusting. Um, and then put this seat in, and then I think I'm gonna try and get the hood on if Brett's still here for the hood. But, let's do this. All right, both seats are in, floor is clean. There were only three bolts to this one, but it still held in fairly well. I removed the fake Mugen harnesses that I had in here just because when I put that first seat in, I forgot to bolt it up to it, and you know, I did not feel like taking the seat out and uh, redoing it and plus I was kind of growing old of those uh, harnesses anyways I think it looks a little bit cleaner in here without them but um, now I'm gonna try and put the hood on if Brett's okay with that helping me hold that up uh, right Brett yep, sir. thank you dude I appreciate it dude mm -hmm. Yeah, bro. all right so Brett had to leave but uh, I managed to get the hood on and all the fenders on and all the front flares on Hopefully no one walks by and snags this because then I'm out $400 flares. But uh, both seats are in, carpet is vacuumed, interior is done. That's good to feel. That's a good feeling. Um, Try to put this plastic thing in and it's not lining up or something so I'm going to try and fix that in a little bit. But. Um, so the things that are left after this is get the exhaust 100% put on, um, get the front suspension finished, the welding and things like that. It's just one piece. I'll show you what it is that needs to be done. So this piece right here, this big knuckle here, I had mine shortened. You can see right here the weld marks. So this one's complete. I also had the, uh, the forks that hold the coils cut and shortened. So this side is done. I can bolt this side up. The driver's side, however, that long piece, I need to be remade because I let my friend borrow it and then he ended up selling the car with it on it. Um, and I can't get that piece off the car that he sold because that's the only piece that car has, so he wouldn't be able to drive it. So I'm waiting on a friend of mine, Clint, you guys have seen him. Um, he has to weld that for me. His welder broke, so. He's doing it at his work. Um, he hasn't responded to me today, so he may actually have it done. I'm just going off of what I have right now, and I don't have uh, the piece welded. So that's the only thing. Those those two things are the only things holding this car back from being dropped on the ground right now. So it's nice to know that, but it's also sad to know that because the longer and longer I wait, the colder and colder it gets, and it's like. 
you know, at this point, all I'm going to end up being able to do is pulling the car out of the shop and making a video of it and then pulling it back in for the winter. You know, there's no shows coming up. There's a show tomorrow that I wanted to go to, but I can't make it. I'll be there, but not in the car. I'll be with Rudnick. But, uh, yeah. So, I think I'm going to throw the roof on of the Del Sol just because I dug it out of the corner. This shop is absolutely disgusting and it really pisses me off, but there's nothing I can do about it. It's not my stuff, so I don't have the right to throw it away, uh, which is terrible. You know, that light doesn't even belong to us. It doesn't work. It's just been hanging there for no reason. Um, but I was able to dig out the roof and the hood. I painted this with the uh, rust paint back in the winter time. I never looked at it, but it looks good. It needs to be wiped off, it's all dusty. But I'm gonna put it on, wipe it off, and I'll see how the entire car looks with 95% of its panels back on. to go over it, but looks good. I think that I might need to clear coat the roof just because it stands out a little too much compared to the rest of the car. The only reason why I was hesitant of clearing the roof was because the last time I did, it ended up darker than the rest of the car, but I think since it's paint and the metal is aluminum, it's gonna look different no matter what, so. I won't win that battle. But I think that that's gonna be the end of this uh, video. I just uh, finally had time to get to the shop working with Tommy and Rudnick and stuff. Um, so yeah, I wasn't able to do anything super crazy to the Del Sol today, but I was able to do uh, some good things that needed to be done. The, uh, the body panels, the seats, they all needed to be put on. They were just sitting around, so. Cleared up space, they're on the car. Need some new nuts and bolts for the fender flares, but other than that, uh, interior and the body panels are all set. So if you guys enjoyed this video, be sure to leave a like, comment, subscribe. I know it's gonna be hard for me to make videos now because I'll be working with Tommy and Rudnick, you know, every week for most of the week, and all my stuff is gonna be at their shop. So um, when I can make videos, I will. I did just go to H2O, so I'm hoping to get the uh, the trailer for that edited and put up fairly soon. It looks sick. Also, if you guys want to buy any stickers, I still am selling them. So I have these five that you can choose from on my website. It's always in the link in the description. If you guys ever want to buy some stickers, I have the link in the description under every video. So go to check that out and yeah. Yeah, I'm going to leave that at that, and I will see you guys in the next video.